Another SMP official has been arrested by the police in relations to the investigation into the party's financial corruption. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the channel that challenges the mainstream media and the political establishment from the left-wing nutters to the globalist elite and a special hello to all the freedom fighters and of course the left-wing trolls watching this getting ready to leave negative comments as usual defending the SNP establishment and how Scotland is going to join the European Union. <laughs> okay, so this is a semi-breaking news story because it's already been uh, reported a few hours ago that uh, Colin Beatty, who was the SNP's official treasurer in charge of the money, has been arrested this morning by Police Scotland. And uh, we also have some reaction from both the police as well as the dear leader, Humza useless Yusuf, uh, who's come out to uh, express his shock and surprise uh, when it comes to these developments. I'm not really sure what they were expecting. He, the guy's the treasurer. Of course, he's going to be questioned during these investigations. Now, let's go to the statement we have from uh, Police Scotland first. Then we're going to uh, tell you the rest of what's been going on today in the news. So, Police Scotland said, well, investigation into the Scottish National Party's funding and the finances, a man has been arrested. A 71-year-old man has today, Tuesday the 18th of April 2023, uh, has been arrested uh, as a suspect in connection with the ongoing investigation into the funding and finances of the Scottish National Party. The man is in custody and is being questioned by Police Scotland detectives. A report will be sent to the Crown Office and Procurator Fiscal Service. The matter is active for the purposes of the contempt of Court Act 1981, and the public are therefore advised to exercise caution if discussing it on social media. As the investigation is ongoing, we are unable to comment further. So we have to be careful, ladies and gentlemen, about uh, these allegations and not to make any assertions, essentially. Uh, so we're just going to report what's going on <laughs> at this point. We know exactly what's going on. Of course, the investigation has been going on for a few days, for a few weeks now, in terms of the escalation, because this actually started in 2021. And in 2022, the police decided to step up their game. And now they're finally questioning some of the senior figures. Now, having said that, uh, let's not forget, uh, of, of course, we got statements from various sides. Uh, uh, that the party itself come out to say, uh, they have, we have no comment on a live police investigation. That's all the SMP head office have told us. There's nothing else. Now, of course, eventually, the press and media found the dear leader, Humza. Now, first things first, the SMP decided to hold an emergency meeting today after the arrest uh, of uh, Colin Beatty. And uh, when uh, Humza Yusuf was confronted by... Uh, the journalists and reporters of the mainstream media, all they had to say was, I am so surprised, and it's not really ideal. Yes, of course I'm surprised when one of my colleagues uh, has been uh, arrested, uh, but uh, you know, it's a very serious matter indeed. Does this threaten to derail what you're talking about here in Parliament this afternoon? Uh, certainly is not helpful. Uh, of course, I wanted to, and I will, I'm still determined, of course, uh, to articulate what my vision is uh, as a new leader uh, and a fresh start uh, for uh, the government. So I'll still do that, of course, at uh, 20 minutes uh, past two, and I hope that uh, we can move on to speak about those issues. So the interesting thing about uh, Humza Yusuf and his team is the tone is slowly changing. And, of course, he wants to seem kind of cautious and pro professional. But at the same time, over the last few days, we can see the language is changing into, oh, well, it's just not an ideal situation. What that means is, of course, if certain people go down, he could just pretend that, well, these, these are just some individuals who did some misbehavior and I am the new leader. We're going to keep going forward. I had no idea about anything. And that's it. So... That's the perfect way. So he's not fully defending Colin Beatty and he's not fully throwing him under the bus directly. So that's the position from the SNP leadership. Now, the, the Scottish Labour Party came out to say that uh, Humza Yusuf essentially at this point is a lame duck first minister. Uh, nobody knows exactly how this story will end. Uh, we're still 
trying to see if Nicola Sturgeon is going to be questioned properly by the police. Is she going to be arrested as well? Maybe they're waiting to get her at the end uh, after everybody else. I'm not really sure what the plan is when it comes to this investigation, but we will keep you guys posted as usual. And if you're new to this channel, of course, uh, consider subscribing because we'll bring you guys all the updates throughout the day, every half an hour, whatever happens inside and outside Great Britain. And of course, with all the political chaos of Westminster. I'm Maya 2C and we are the media.